Now, major development, the Extrajudicial Execution Victims Families Association Manipur or the EEFVAM and Human Rights Alert welcomed the hearing of WP129 of 2012 by the Chief Justice Yuyu Lalit and Justice Bela M. Trivedi after a long gap in the Supreme Court of India on 20th of October 2022. The Apex Court directed the High Court of Manipur to dispose of pending issue of sanction as early as possible and preferably with six months from the receipt of directive order. Speaking to Northeast Life, Bablu Loitangbam, Executive Director, HRA, welcomed the Apex Court directives and said that hope that they still hope hope still exists for justice to extrajudicial execution victims' family. It may be mentioned that on the behest of the Supreme Court, the SIT and CBI registered 39 FIRs. On completion of the investigation, 37 final reports were submitted to relevant judicial magistrates. Meanwhile, Renu Takhilbam, who also attended the present press conference held at HRA office in Fal on Saturday welcomed Supreme Court's directive and expressed hope for justice to victims' family. This is a very welcome uh, move because the matter of prosecution sanction, uh, which has gone as a reference case from the uh, Chief Judicial Magistrate in Fal West, has been pending in the Manipur High Court uh, for almost a year and a half. Uh, so uh, this uh, direction from the Supreme Court to complete this within six months is a very welcome move uh, because uh, as we all know, justice delayed is justice denied. And the sooner the court comes with a, a, a positive verdict on this, the better it will be for the victims who are seeking justice for many, many years now. Um, from the behalf of the IFAM, uh, I truly and heartily warm welcome the, direct, the directive of the Supreme Court order on the 20 of this month, 2022. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> um, as a uh, victim's family, uh, we are eagerly waiting for the justice. Since this, uh, this order is uh, after uh, four years, mm -hmm. uh, we finally we got this directive. So uh, maybe uh, that after this directive, um, we hopefully that we will get some fruitful uh, justice. justice. Yeah, that will be uh, very hopeful for the victim family. We will we get uh, justice uh, to the victim family?